My name is Susan, and I'm an architect. I'm a senior associate for a firm in Collingswood, and I love doing outdoorsy things. I snowboard and mountain bike and road bike and kayak. And once I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I had to dial back on some of those things. Susan's an amazing woman. She was uh, diagnosed with what is fondly known as triple negative breast cancer, which has a lot of connotations for its level of aggressiveness. The selection of drugs to treat cancer is very important. You want to be aggressive when you're dealing with an aggressive disease, but we know that some of these drugs have the potential for cardiac risk, so you have to weigh the risk and benefit in choosing these drugs. The cardiac issues induced extreme fatigue. Um, I was out of breath all the time. Um, I would get severe headaches, and all of these things limited my ability to do a lot of the things that I like doing in my life. The cardiac oncology program at Cooper is a relatively new program, and it's really new across the country. The recognition that more of our drugs are having cardiac effects and that we need to work together with our cardiologists so that we manage these optimally. It's based on work done at MD Anderson in Houston. Our cardiologists have actually spent time in Houston with their colleagues to really bring together the pathways that we're using for our patients. Precisely how chemotherapy causes the heart cells to die is still something we're trying to figure out. And so using our traditional medications to slow that process down, to stop that process, but most importantly to actually prevent that process is an area of study that has been ongoing. The uh, most important part of treating these patients is early detection and slowing down the progression. It was devastating have an, having a diagnosis of a very aggressive cancer. And on top of that, to learn that I developed a cardiac problem, it, it was absolutely devastating. I was out of breath often and couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without feeling like I was gonna pass out. I craved being able to get back on my bike and get back out on my kayak and do those things that was my emotional outlet to feel free and, and just enjoy life. When I met with Susan, uh, she had developed a mild cardiomyopathy related to the uh, chemotherapy that was given for breast cancer. And so we talked about different ways of treating that, um, which could include medication, um, also other risk factor modification, lifestyle changes. You know, ultimately the plan we came up with was um, to just continue to live a healthy lifestyle, trying to maintain a healthy weight, trying to maintain a reasonable level of physical activity. As I got stronger and stronger and further away from my diagnosis, I just started exercising more. I took the advice of my doctors and my friends and I just started pushing myself. Today, Susan is doing extremely well from a cardiovascular standpoint. Uh, we continue to image her heart and we will do that in the long term. Her heart muscle function has stabilized and she's back out riding her bike. It feels great to be able to jump on my bike and ride 20 miles at the, at the blink of an eye. I would never have been able to get through all of this without all of the support from my doctors at Cooper. Dr. Grana, Dr. Mazzarelli, they were absolutely amazing. And all the chemo nurses, right down to the valets. Every single person made me feel special and made me feel like I was part of the MD Anderson family. Right now that I have my energy back, I love to get out and dance. I work out at home. I love to just spend time with my friends, going for walks, and I'm doing great now. My heart is healthy, and I'm loving life.